Welcome to the incoming freshman class, the class of 2025. We're excited to be able to offer this registration information for you all today. We're going to start off by talking a little bit about the materials that we have made available for you all as we go through the registration process. Our administrative team here at East Davidson would be myself. Uh, my name is Greg Peters. I'm the principal here at East Davidson. Our two assistant principals are Ms. Jennifer Woodrum and Mr. Todd Lomax. Ms. Woodrum works with registration. She's part of a registration team, so you will be working closer with her as we go through choosing our courses for next year. Mr. Lomax is our bus coordinator. For those of you who ride the bus, if you have any uh, questions, you'll be able to contact Mr. Lomax and he can take care of you. Our student services team helps us out a lot with registration. Ms. Hiller, Ms. Brock, Ms. Sink, and Ms. Tucker. What we do with our incoming freshmen, we divide you guys up by last name. And you can see here on the slide, if your last name is A through G, you'll be working with Ms. Hiller. Last name beginning with H through O with Ms. Brock. And last name beginning with P through Z with Ms. Sink. Ms. Tucker is our student services administrative secretary. She helps us out and you'll get to know her quite well through this process. What we have made available for you at Brown Middle is a registration card, which is on pink paper. This is the card that you're going to fill out and return to us so that we can put your course request in the computer for next year. We've also given you a list of our academies that are offered here at East Davidson. So you can have reference to that. And there's a copy of the Davidson County Schools High School Planning Guide that you can use for reference to learn more about the elective courses that we offer here at East Davidson and in Davidson County. The card that you received looks like this. So I just wanted to go through the various components here. On the left-hand side, we have our required courses. We start with English, math, science, social studies, and then health and PE. All incoming freshmen are required to take these five courses. That leaves you three elective courses that you'll be able to choose from over here on the right hand side. Below the course list, we have an area here for contact information that we ask that you complete because we may need this information over the summer as we work through schedules. And if there's a conflict, we may need to call you over on the right hand side. We have a place for alternates. These are courses you're going to select as backups to your first choice at the top. So when you complete your registration card up here, you will only have eight X's or checks. And these are the courses that you're required to take and then the electives that you choose to make out your total of eight. Down here are alternate electives that we may have to go to if one of your first electives will not fit in your schedule. Sometimes there are conflicts where two classes are offered during the same period, the same semester, so since you can't be in two places at once, we'll ask you to go down here and write in some alternates. You do not check the alternates up here. Just write them in. Please choose your alternates based off the course that you would want to take first. So in the first slot here, I want you to write in the alternate that would be your first choice if you can't get one of your best choices at the top. Now at the bottom, some of you will see teacher recommendations. If you have been recommended by your teachers at Brown for honors courses that will be listed at the bottom of your registration card and you should register via those recommendations. If you have not been recommended for honors at the bottom of your registration card, you will register for regular classes. In order to graduate and be promoted or be promoted to the next level, I should say each year to reach graduation, you have to pass a certain number of courses. So as freshmen, you'll take eight courses. In order to be promoted to the sophomore class, you will need to pass six of eight courses. From there, to be promoted to the junior year is 13 courses. And then to be classified as a senior, you'll need 20 credits. You need a minimum of 28 credits to graduate. Now, it is important to understand during this process that we do not do mid-year promotions, meaning that if you start the year as a sophomore, 
you'll be a sophomore for the entire year. Even if you were to level up after the fall semester and be above six credits, you would still be classified as a freshman until the end of that year. Your required courses that you need in order to graduate credit-wise, you'll need four credits each in English, social studies, and math, and we'll talk about those here in just a moment. You'll need three credits in science, one credit in health and PE, and then you get to choose 12 elective credits. If you stay all four years taking eight classes each year, you will end up taking a grand total of 32 credits at East Davidson High School. As incoming freshmen, it's pretty straightforward, the classes you'll need to sign up for. All incoming freshmen are required to take these five courses. So every single incoming freshman will take these five. You will need to sign up for English one, or if your teacher has recommended you for honors, you will sign up for English one honors. This strategic reading and writing course is by administrative placement only, and that happens when we look at your academic performance so far for your academic career, if needed. Math, if you have taken Math 1 and passed it at the middle school, you will sign up for Math 2 or Math 2 honors again, depending on your teacher recommendations. If you took 8th grade Math, you will sign up for Math 1. If we look at your academic performance and deem it necessary, some of you may be placed into a Foundations of Math 1 course to work on some of the basic skills you need in order to move into Math 1. Again, that would be an administrative placement. So on your registration card at this time, if you have completed Math 1 at Brown Middle, you will sign up for Math 2. If you've taken 8th grade Math and not yet had Math 1, you will sign up for Math 1. For Science, coming in as a freshman, you'll take Earth Science or Earth Science Honors. Again, for Honors, it's based on teacher recommendation. For Social Studies, you'll start with World History or World History Honors and everyone will sign up for PE and health. So everyone should have five courses of their eight chosen from these areas. For our electives here at East Davidson, after your five required courses, you get to choose three electives. To begin with, we offer several academies at East Davidson in our career and technical education programs. Academies are not required in order to graduate, but we strongly encourage students to complete a four course concentration area that interests them. It looks great on your high school transcript when you apply to go off to college in a few years and allows you to focus on areas of interest. So we have various courses that we offer and coming in your freshman year, we encourage you to sign up for career management and Microsoft Word or one or the other. These two courses, Career Management and Microsoft Word, count as two of the four required courses to complete any of our academies. Once you take these courses, you will then move into the particular area of interest and complete a beginning course and a level two advanced course. Once you've done that, then you would receive credit for that academy. You may actually be able to complete more than one academy while you're with us at East Davidson over the next four years. For our art students, we do offer music, theater, and art. So if you're in the band, many of you will register for band both in the fall and in the spring. That will be two of your three elective choices there. You may also sign up for course, vocal music, beginning as a freshman. Theater arts, we have a theater arts program that is normally offered in the spring. So if you would like to be an actor or actress one day, you might want to sign up for that. And art with Miss Hedrick. For honors classes, if you are considering taking honors next year, if you've been recommended for that and you're capable, we strongly encourage you to sign up for honors courses. But we also ask that you spend some time thinking about your level of commitment. Students who take honors level courses have to have a strong work ethic and be responsible and discipline learners. Honors students will be required to spend a great deal of time working outside of class. So if you don't mind doing homework and you want to push yourself, we strongly encourage you to sign up for honors courses if you have been recommended. 
If you have not been recommended, but would like to take honors courses, we need you to fill out a waiver form for us. These waiver forms will be located in the front office here at East Davidson. We don't just hand these out. We'd like for you to be able to come get those and talk to us and you fill those out and explain to us why you think you are ready to take honors level courses. Moving from the middle school to the high school is a big transition and we want to make sure that you start off in the right direction and in order to be successful. So again, if you would like to wave into an honors course, if you've not been recommended for it, you will need to pick up a waiver form at the front office here at East Davids and Davidson and complete that. That needs to be turned in by May 7th to Ms. Woodrum. Now, after that date, if you do wave into an honors course, it is important to note that we will not be able to change your schedule after that. We have to build our master schedule over the summer. And once we build courses and assign those courses to teachers so they can prepare for those courses, it's hard for us to make changes. So that is the drop date for all students at East Davidson and across the county when it comes to honors level courses. So once you sign up, if you want to change your mind and back down to regular, it needs to be done by May the 7th. I want to take a moment to talk about our attendance policy here at the high school level. It is different than what you're used to at the middle school level. Students each semester may miss a maximum of eight classes. And we do take attendance by the class, not by the day. What that means is if you show up for first and second period, but then you leave to go home for the rest of the day in this third and fourth, you would be counted present for first and second, but you would receive an absence for third and fourth period. You must be here 60 minutes of a 90 minute class each day in order to be counted present. If you are absent from school, in order for the absence to be coded as an excused absence, that could potentially be a considered for waiver down the road, you will need to bring a note within three days of the absence and turn that into the front office to our attendance clerk, Ms. Kohler. Reasons that we'll consider a waiver for attendance are listed here. They're very specific. So again, we encourage daily attendance in school in order to be successful, and that's how that works. I'd also like to take a moment to remind our incoming freshmen of state law which states that you need to pass 70% of your coursework in order to maintain your license. So a big moment in life is, is getting your license when you're 16 years old. In order to get and maintain those licenses, you need to be successful in school. So you must pass three or four classes each semester in order to maintain your license once you receive those. If you do not pass three or four classes, then those licenses will be revoked by the Department of Motor Vehicles and you will need to wait until the next semester is complete and you have passed three or four classes in order to get your license back. For our athletes, athletic eligibility also is very similar. You'll need to pass three or four classes in the semester prior to your season in order to be promoted or be able to be eligible to play sports and to be promoted. So 85% attendance is also required for athletes meaning that it's 13 absences per semester. It's a little bit different for the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. So if you want to participate in sports, you will need to maintain good attendance at school in order to remain eligible. You're also expected to exhibit integrity, honesty, and trustworthiness at all times. You are a representative of East Davidson High School. And we take a lot of pride in that. So we uh, require our athletes to set a, a great example for everyone in the community. Again, when you get here next year, it will be a little bit different. We have four classes per day. Once you make it through the first semester, you'll get four more new classes after the Christmas break. So it's four classes per day, 90 minutes each class period, and then we eat lunch with our third period class, and lunch is 25 minutes long. Now let's review what we've got here. You have your pink registration card. You have your academies list and you have a DCS planning guide. Once you complete your registration card, it's going to be due back to your homeroom teacher by Friday, March 19th. This is very important that we meet this date. You're going to bring everything back completed by Friday, March 19th. Ms. Woodrum and I will pick those up and we will enter you into our system so we can get you registered for next year. So when you are 
When you have finished your registration card, it will look like this. You'll have your personal information here. You'll have your alternates down here on the right and your five required courses on the left with your electives over here on the right. Just check the eight courses that are required and or wanted, if the ones that you want for the three electives, then you'll write in your alternates in case one of your electives does not work out. At any point, if you have questions, you can contact the school and talk to Ms. Woodrum. She's a lead for our registration team. If you cannot get in touch with Ms. Woodrum, please feel free to contact me and we can discuss any questions that you have. Finally, I'd like to encourage each and every incoming freshman to go ahead and commit to graduate on time with your cohort. That's very important for us. We want you to come up to the high school energized, ready to go. We look forward to working with you to help you achieve your goals and to grow and to find young men and women that we know you're ready to be. So thank you so much for your time. Again, if you have any questions, please con contact the school and speak with Ms. Woodrum or myself, Mr. Peters, and we will be happy to help you.